Kat Fitzpatrick here and this video is the accompaniment to my blog for the week of August 31st. It is a welcoming blog to a blogging writing journey um, between you and me and the page and the journey will be about wayfaring and wayfinding using writing as a way to find our way forward. I'll be doing tips and tools and also writing some things fresh every week about my life as a way to uh, accompany you in your journey. If you're here today, I think it's because you're drawn to writing as a way to explore, as a way to reach out to yourself, as a way to become a more alive and vibrant person so that you can connect better with others. This vlog will go on, I'm not sure how long, I think I'm looking at maybe a year of tools and tips and my own uh, exploration of different aspects of my life. It'll be sort of like a memoir, sort of like an autobiography, but I'm not gonna define it too closely because I am not certain exactly what I'm going to write, just like you. But I will give you topics and we'll look at them together. I will also have sh very short tips, one minute that will be on social media and here on YouTube and also a um, 20 minute it'll, uh, journey where we can sit and write together. I'll do a little introduction and a little closing and then just 15 minutes of writing so that together we can work with the prompt, the challenge of the week. So I'm going to read this in case you're the type of person that likes to hear your content rather than read it. Um, I'll do this every week for my blog and this is how this week goes. Hello and welcome. What an exciting moment this is. We are about to launch on a journey together. I've been packing and repacking, sorting and discarding, mapping a course and preparing for contingencies. You may be joining this blog the day I publish it or many days, weeks, even years later. No worries. That is one of the magical aspects of writing and reading. We connect over distances of time and space. Our journey will be one of wending our way through a heretofore untraveled land. It is a journey that, with no clear summit, no defined finish line, for we begin not with an end in mind, but an eagerness to explore. We will go together and yet also inextricably apart. The land we will each travel is into our own interior, and the course I've mapped will not be sufficient, yet it will set us on our way. The map is never the terrain. And the beautiful part of this necessarily solitary journey is that while each of us has to travel it alone, we don't have to survive it alone. I am here, other travelers are here. Once you have begun on the path of writing as wayfaring, writing as wayfinding, you will discover that there are pit stops, taverns, cafes, coffee shops along the way, virtual though they may be in this time of COVID-19. Seek out those pl places where you might find other such adventurers, also eager to share the part of their story trail that they have just traversed. I am honored to be your guide. I have been keeping a notebook of sorts for many years. It has often been a tortured soul sort of struggle. I kept them close like teddy bears and yet sometimes felt resentful of their hold over me. I lamented their varied nature, their cluttered entries, their uh, tattered emotional edges. I've kept some and purged many. And yet, and yet, I ultimately felt that there was a delicious secret key within those pages and within the writing of those pages. And that is why I could not let go of the habit, the propensity, the near addiction even, of turning to my notebooks, my diaries, my journals again and again. There is no chance of failure. How can I say this? Well, because a path forward is a beautiful thing when you contemplate it from, from a, your armchair. It is beautiful when you set your foot upon it. It is beautiful when you sit heavily beside it and hang your head and kiss your sore knees. The path forward does not actually depend upon you. It is already present. Just as right now, there is somewhere a whale sounding into the deep. There's an albatross careening through clear air. There are rivers flowing that we have never set our eyes upon. All these things exist whether we engage with them or not. They keep moving. They do not depend upon us. It is our gift to engage. 
that whale, that bird, those rivers. We don't see them, but we can imagine them. I am posing the channel challenge that all of us feel the same about our paths forward. We can't actually see them, but we can acknowledge that they are there. When we stop to pay attention, we know that they are there, for nothing has stopped the inexorable movement of time. Like rivers, like wild things, our paths are subject to forces beyond our control. What if we take up this notion of our path as if it were an adventure? Writer and philosopher Joseph Campbell said that he felt finally settled on writing and teaching as his career because he knew that he could go anywhere in his imagination then. He knew his realm would be unlimited. I am not advocating a career change, only to say that with pen and notebook or with a computer document, we too can travel anywhere we wish right now in this moment. The soul of, journey is, uh, soul of a journey is liberty, William Hazlitt. He actually is not really the nicest guy, but I love that quote and it sticks with me. William Hazlitt said, the soul of a journey is liberty. This journey will be your journey and I will be there with you, a companion as you need through this blog, my newsletter and my videos. You will have the liberty to travel as you see fit, which is both a benefit and a burden. Is your personal adventure backpack full of the stuff you need, the initiative, the endurance, the ability to question, to wonder, to feel. Writing can be the most important wayfaring tool. It can bring us to the heart of wayfinding. The time of COVID-19 has forced many of us to stay home, and many I have talked with have found this a blessing, a time to navigate the inner landscape. Now feels like the perfect opportunity to, to step out again into the within if you're reading this or listening, I think you may feel that too. Join me. I will not just be telling you about this adventure on the page. I will be making tracks right alongside you. Each week, I will start with some of my favorite writing tools, some of my surest writerly tips, and then I will go on to writing a piece of my life story with them. I have done quite a bit of this kind of writing, but these will be fresh forays. I have heard them calling to me and this is my response, to write blind each week for publication. Am I a bit scared? You bet I am. I have not set, a put, uh, I have not set foot upon this path before, but if I had, I would not be an adventure. I would not be authentically walking beside you. Let's show up for each other. The dawn is breaking. The beyond is awaiting, and we are on our way.